So here is this question about the sign of this work. And the key thing to recognize is that the force displacement vector points up. The point where the spring touches the mass moves up. And so the force displacement vector and the force that we're interested in point in opposite directions. And that tells us that this work is negative. There is a very important special case that we should look at before moving on. And the main reason is so that you can see that you don't have to worry about this case. It's the case of a force that acts perpendicular to the motion. So think of, for example, a cart moving along on a track, and to a good approximation the only forces acting on it are a perpendicular force and a gravity, and those are both perpendicular to the motion. And note that the velocity of this cart would not be changing. More importantly for thinking about energy, its speed isn't changing. But we've also seen that if the acceleration is perpendicular to the velocity, then the speed doesn't change. And that tells you that a force perpendicular to the motion causes no change in speed. So in all these situations, there's no change in the kinetic energy. And in particular, in the case of the cart, we can see that there are no other changes in energy. And so no work is being done. Our conclusion is that forces perpendicular to the motion do no work. We'll be able to generalize this. The last thing we will do in this unit is to look in general at forces at arbitrary angles to the motion and then we'll see that forces perpendicular to the motion do no work and we'll also see how forces at any angle do work.